Well, people are still talking about last week's historic Supreme Court rulings. Today, another one has come down. It won't capture the frenzy media coverage, but it's every bit as important. Mr. President, our highest court today affirmed the public's right to establish independent redistricting commissions. The court's Arizona decision supports one of our nation's most important precepts, which is that people should choose their legislators, not the other way around. We have here in Pennsylvania, we have now the legal authority to give our citizens the right to draw compact, rational, balanced, and fair legislative district boundaries that accommodate voters rather than political agendas. Let's face it, our current system has become a tainted, corrupt, disingenuous mess. Gerrymandered and distorted district boundaries have become the rule rather than the exception. If you don't believe me, take a look at the map of some of our state's congressional districts. There's the so-called I-81 district that stretches from Adams County in the south all the way to the northern tier in northeastern Pennsylvania. Then there's the I-78 district, which snakes its way through the eastern line all the way to the Harrisburg su suburbs. And don't even get me started on the 6th Congressional District. Mr. President, we should be embarrassed and ashamed. And the blame for this politically polluted system lies squarely at the feet of politicians who had the power to choose their own constituencies. It shouldn't work that way, and all of us know it. Our current system has harmed everything from fairness of our elections to the level of cooperation and compromise between lawmakers. That is why I have key components from the Arizona system in my legislation. My bill would establish an all-citizen redistricting commission and bans, bans legislators, staffers, and politicos from influencing the process. I have also worked to establish a bipartisan, bicameral work group that is studying various proposals to develop redistricting reform legislation that we can all support. Mr. President, today, with this historic ruling from the Supreme Court, today is a great day for fairness, a great day for voters, a great day for our constituents, and a great day for democracy. I thank and salute the Supreme Court for its ruling and hope we will finally embrace this necessary and overdue reform.